Hello everyone, welcome to this month's edition of our Color Combo Challenge. If this is your first time to my channel or seeing one of the Color Combo Challenges, this is a, a challenge that Gareth Farrow, who has created Home, and G, created Home with G, and I started last year. We have some lovely other people who have joined us for our challenge. Um, and the lineup includes Miss Angie from Rags, Tags, and Confections. She's a lovely artist. And then we have the multi-talented Mr. Tony from Kate's Crafty Cottage. And then we have Miss um, Crystal Cleveland, who I think is still taking a break this month. And then we have our guest um, crafter today is the lovely Donna Clark and James, who has a little Spaceman Papers craft um, here on YouTube. So make sure you check out all their videos as well. So what do we have for you today? So this month's um, was a challenge that I picked the colors and I stumped myself a little bit, but it was burgundy craft and green. And, um, or if we didn't have burgundy, we could use deep red. I picked burgundy because I thought I had burgundy paper. And this sort of is, it doesn't look like it on here, but it is a very deep, dark, dark red. And so what am, have I created for you today? So I have created this whole card here. And I love it. I think it just came out so cute. And so we're going to make this today. So let me show you what we're going to use. Now I've already cut all the little bits and pieces just for the sake of time. But we're starting with an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I use the craft card stock. Then I'm going to get my little ruler out here. Then you're going to need a piece that is three inches by five and a quarter and then you're going to need two little pieces that i think these are three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters and then you need some little strips and you may not can see it on here but i'll show it to you in the where they are so you're gonna need two little strips right here and these are three inches long and um an eighth of an inch wide no excuse me not an eighth of an inch this is a quarter three by one quarter by three inches these are three inches long and an eighth of an inch wide so you need two of those you need one of the other one and then two little pieces here that are eighth of an inch by three quarters of an inch so you need two of those little two bits and then you're going to need a piece of acetate or plastic now i don't have any acetate just per se acetate this came off of one of the old um packaging and it needs to be at least three inches wide by one and a quarter inches. I mean, one and a quarter inches wide by three inches long. And then I have this little scrap of paper here with the little Christmas trees in them. I wanted some Christmas trees in the window. And I was trying to figure out how to make them show. And then I found this little scrap of paper. And this paper is from uh, this Christmas cheer that I got a couple years ago from Queen and Company. Um, cute little paper pad. So let's get started and show you how we put it all together. So I'm just going to put this to the side for right now. We're going to work off of this because we're going to we're going to have to cut some of it. So we're going to take this three by um, five and a quarter, and we're going to sit here and we're going to look and make some marks on it. I'm going to get a pencil here. Now, we want, we're going to cut our window out that we did here. Now, you can do this by hand with a blade, or you can use your paper trimmer. And so, I'm going to cut, come in an eighth of an inch on each side. So, I'm just going to, and I'm going to come down about an eighth of an inch down here. So, I'm going to mark it about an eighth of an inch down. Okay, so then I'm going to come down here and come in an eighth of an inch in, which 
which is right here. And I'm just going to come over to about eighth of an inch from that side. And then I'm just going to come down here just a little bit. And draw a little line here. Sure. Oops, sorry about that. And then we're just going to connect the dots here, come straight across. Now, like I said, you can cut this with your paper trimmer or you can cut it with a blade. Okay, and I'm going to cut mine with my paper trimmer. So all I'm going to do is put my line that I won't cut on my line on my paper trimmer. I'm going to put my blade on, and if you see right here, it's got a little notch right here. So I'm going to line that up with an eighth of an inch. On my paper trimmer and then I'm going to come down and then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start down here at an eighth of an inch and go down there. Okay, and then I'm going to use my little blade to cut the sides of it. Okay, and then we're going to come back over to this side and do the same thing. Alright. So now we have our window cut out. And we're going to glue our little pieces on here. These are what the eighth of an inch by three inches pieces or four they're going to come across it's going to be like making a transom but it also makes our window stand out just a little bit more and i'm going to put the sides on it first and then put the top and the bottom on there and i'm just going to be using some tacky glue eileen's tacky glue for that Here and put that in. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to put our little strip on the top and the bottom. So we're just kind of framing our picture our window. Oops. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Now, we're going to let this dry a little bit. And we're going to take the quarter inch by three inch sleeve and we're going to divide our door up with it. So we're going to put it about right there, about halfway down the door. And let this dry before I mess with that window anymore. So I'm going to line this up here. And... So I'm 
come down about right there. Line this up on this line so I can get this nice and straight on my cutting mat. Now we're going to take these two little pieces right here, which are going to be the bottom part of the door down here, the panels. And we are going to put that on some foam tape, I think. Okay. Now before I put these on, I want to darken the edges up just a little bit. So I'm going to take some vintage photo and go around the edges of it. gonna put some foam tape on the back of these when I started this card I wasn't sure I was liking it but you know what? I stuck with it, and it just came out really cute. Okay. Let's see. Check this on my mat and line this up. So that's how our door is looking right now. Now also on the door, you notice we have a little wreath. And I'm going to make the little wreath after I put it on the card base. Alright. So I have this little uh, metal bead here. I'm using that for my door handle. So I'm just going to put just a little spot of glue down here put that on right there and let that sit now for the back we're going to put our um, plastic on first our acetate piece. Okay, so we're just going to put our little acetate on the back. And you just want to cut it. This is no specific size. I just cut a little thing off that would fit across the window and would go across the backing of the window so it will stay on. So I'm going to add my glue to the outside of the paper and not the acetate. This is not going to be seen, so it's okay. So just to stick it down and you don't want to add too much because you don't want it to squish underneath your window I mean on the underneath your window on the door because and I'm just gonna line that up across there and that's it now I'm gonna take the little scrap of paper I had and I'm going to line it up on my card to where I see the trees. Because you definitely won't. That's what I'm trying to get in there. Like that. And I found a piece on my card that I want. So all I'm going to do is cut this little strip out right here. And I'm just going to go a little bit above it so I have some room to glue it on there. We 
just going to stick that back in there like that. Like so. And I can trim this off in a minute. So we're going to come back in with our glue. And we're just going to put some glue right on top of that acetate. It will hold it. Um, I did the other one just like this. There we go. And just trim that little edge off. There we go. So there we go. That's our window. Now, we're going to take some of this right here, and this is some little vine that I've had. Um, I actually think I got this from Gareth when he had his store, and I'm just going to make a little wreath for the door. All I'm going to do is take a little piece, because it doesn't need to be very big, because the door is not very big, and just wrap it around to make the little wreath, and just take a pair of scissors and snip the rest of the wire off. I'm going to hang it about right there. And I am going to be using some fabric tack for this. I found that it holds just a wee bit better than regular glue. So all I'm going to do is come up here and put just a little spot of glue on there. And then once I put the reef down on the door, I'll glue the bottom half down. Okay, I'm just going to set this down right here and hold that down. I'm just going to come down here and put a little bit of glue. And you want to hold it for a second. Okay, so then I'm going to take some little um, flat bags to go on the wreath like little ornaments. And we're just going to stick them on here. How about three of them? Maybe four. I don't know. Okay, and then I have some little thin ribbon here, and I'm just going to make a little bow for it. Just a simple little bow. I am not the best at tying bows, so, but we'll get there. And I am going to trim those some more. And again, I'm going to use my tacky glue to hold it down. I mean, not my tacky glue, my fabric tack. And just kind of give that a hold there for a second. Okay, I'm just going to trim these off just a little bit more. Okay. There we go. Now, to get the look of the snow, I had a snow rider pen, but I have no idea where it went to. So I found my Posca pen or this little white pink pen. So I'm just going to shake it up and use that on here. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my card base. Now to put it on my card base, what I am going to be using 
is some foam tape. Now this is um, an idea for you. You know that double-sided tape or foam tape can be quite expensive, but um, I got this a while, I mean a long while back. I forgot I had it. As a matter of fact, I just found it. This is like um, the tape that they use for drywall or something like that. It's double-sided and it works perfect on here. So I'm just going to run the length of it on my card. Oops, I lost a little bead. And we're going to stick that down on our card. Yeah, if I can remember correctly, this was a big roll. It was like out to here and I think it's only a couple of dollars and I got it from a, a supply place so I'm just going to center this on my card okay and then I'm going to use my little paint pen Shake this up and prime it. Okay. And then I'm just going to go around the top of my card. And I'm bouncing it. I'm not rubbing it. So this gives it a little texture when you do it like this. Like the snow has collected. And then it's fallen. I'm going to collect some down here along the window seal. And we can just make some dots there. And then we can just make dots here coming down. And then around the door handle where the little ledge is, we're going to put some for collecting down here. Okay, and then we're just going to make some dots coming down, just random dots, and then I'll put some more here at the top of the little door panels. Because that would be where snow would be collected on the, the parts that stood out. Okay, and we can just do some random things like that. Alright, and then what I did was I took my white jelly roll pen and I just did some stitching on it on the card base itself. And I know there's not much room on the bottom, but we're going to put what we can because we're going to come back with a green pen. This is one of my green uh, alcohol ink markers, and we're just going to go between there. And then I'm going to take a red and do the same thing. Just put just a couple little hints of it in between the stitches because I don't want them to be all on top of each other. I want you to be able to see every one of them. Okay. 
There we go. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my Wink of Stella and just kind of go around the snow that I did my paint pen with just to give it a little sparkle and shine. Should be dry now. Because you know I like my little bling. And so that is our card. This was my prototype. And this is my other one. Oops, I knocked my little um, door handle off here. <laughs>